It's the end of another long Thursday workday and one of the focuses today was trying to find room to plant 12 tomato plants, which we did, and a bunch of other stuff. Check it out. Okay, next week we may prune it, yeah. This plant makes the case for overwintering tomatoes in a temperate climate. We had some chilly nights the past week, so I'd covered my tomatoes, but now it was time for some warm sun. We selected the ones to plant. First project. I had Eric add some decomposed granite to the driveway to fill in some recesses. While I worked on resetting ee toy onions in my large container, I cleaned up the overwintered eggplant while Eric finished up the driveway. You'll notice I'm back in the sling. I overdid it a bit the Sunday before and wanted the protection. Next project, Oyas. Do you want to open it first so the white things don't go everywhere? No, no. no let me... Prepare? Working in the hole. Prepare? Okay. It's coming, coming huge. It's huge. We're doing a swap with between my large and my medium Oya because we found that the small Oya in the huge clay pot is not doing the job. So I'm doing a little switcheroo. At this point, the nasturtium is like a forest over there. Nasturtium will actually vine up if it has something to grow up. It's growing up this pepper plant. It's really hard to figure exactly what to do in a garden and do it right the first time. A lot of gardening is experimentation. This might be a good day to take some of this nasturtium out. It's getting a little out of control. Nice. Right here. See the beautiful? Yes, I see it. Life. That's great. See, it's it, it working. Not clean water. Oh, good. Eh? Good, good. Yes, that is clean water. Okay, we got one large and one medium. No, this is full. Oh, it's full? Okay. Look at those roots. It's nice. That's just in two weeks. Now, wait, hang on. What? It needs to be exactly in between these two. See how that works. Tomato here in the center. Right. Beautiful. Now we're going to move this yet again. This will be the third time. <laughs> One thing I love in life, it's symmetry. I just can't stand it when and things are a little, like a quarter of an inch off. And this Oya was off to the side and so the water was not being evenly distributed. Plus, it wasn't a big enough Oya for this huge pot. So we've divided the cardamom in two pieces and redoing the dirt and wood chips. That's good. One more job done. Make the smallest hole you can, right in the middle. A hole like Millimeter. 
you got it perfect. <laughs> perfect size. See? see? Do you see any seeds in here? There should be a white no. seed. No. You don't have to make it that small. That's fine. Great. Perfect. Mix. Sure. Bring water. Do you have a tomato? Yes. Oh, it's already there? Okay, good. See a lot of food. We need to spray. We're planting some comfrey some of my new comfrey starts between a couple of the tomato plants because comfrey roots go down deep and they bring nutrients back up to the surface so I'm hoping this can help protect the tomatoes a little bit. Yeah, great. Yeah, I think so. Better support. Maybe we should wire it to the pineapple guava too. Good, that should hold it. It'll blow in the wind, but that's okay. Mix. You got the coffee? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that'll straighten it out a little. Okay. That looks pretty good. there. I'd wait another week except that it, it may rain tonight so that's the urgency. Not much sun. Yeah there's not much sun back there. That is one big happy worm. going to put this eggplant in the ground because I've decided I don't like looking at these pots in my parkway. Two pieces. Two. <laughs> okay. See, this is a little one. Right. This is the rest of us, see? One, two, three, four, five, six branches. This way. Wow. Okay. See, that, that one. He's putting some borage leaves in the hole because we've got so much borage now. Borage is a great companion plant to tomatoes. It's supposed to keep the hornworm away. So we're just using what we have here. I have four cages left and I had a few tomato rings. So this is the way that we're doing tomatoes right here. Thank you so much for watching this channel and please give me that thumbs up and share with a friend and I'll see you in the next video. Mm. My first asparagus. Oh, I wish I had a hundred of those.